All right, Fuller, thank you. Well, it was a game of a lifetime for these ladies. They could not have imagined this in their wildest dreams. The Chiefs-Dolphins game at Arrowhead on Saturday landed them in these enchanted seats right in front of Taylor Swift, Brittany Mahomes, and Travis Kelsey's mom, Donna. Joining us this morning, Beth Lynch-Vansel with more on how she left the game with Taylor's scarf. You can't shake this one off, right? <laughs> no, no, not at not, all. Not for a long time. Absolutely not. So, Beth, at what point did you realize where your seats were and who was behind you? I would say almost immediately. Okay. Because, I mean, I, I don't know if you've been to a game recently, yes. but they they um, just go crazy. Like, everybody is standing down and taking pictures looking up, mm -hmm. and it was all frosted. So I have that picture. I don't know if you saw it of Donna looking out the window. Well, she was looking out the window, and then I saw um, I saw... Travis's dad sitting there as well. And then, you know, the pandemonium came and Taylor, you could see the red through the window and it was like, okay, yep, there she is. And so then her security guard, actually it was our second time in these seats. Okay. And the security guard, we became friends with him the last game. And so, I mean, I did, I, I don't know if he thinks we're friends, but <laughs> I do. And uh, so we became security or friends with the security guard and I was like, oh, she's here. And so then she just sat right down next to Donna and sat there the whole game. Mm -hmm. How often were you looking back? Um, I mean, we were like, we were interacting a lot. Okay. So we were like turning around, high-fiving each other. I mean, at one point she was like asking me for predictions of like who's going to score the next touchdown. It was just, it was just like we were friends. Were you thinking like, am I dreaming this? Is this really happening right now? Yeah, no. I mean, I am the type that makes friends with anyone. Okay. So ask my friends. I never meet a stranger. So um, I literally was like, Pinch me. This is. I literally. After she gave me a high five, I turned to my boss Betsy uh, from Collections uh -huh. by Joya, and I said, "Pinch me. I think I'm dead." And then after, <laughs> and then after that, I was like, "Okay, here we are. We're yeah. friends. Like, let's hang out. Let's do the swag and surf." Or you know, it was just crazy. Yeah. This is happening. All right. This is. This the scarf. Taylor scarf. Okay. Yes. How did you go about getting this? Okay. Well, I was very red in the face, and um, I was very cold because it was negative twelve, and so. <laughs> Yeah, it was very cold. And so um, I literally, like, she was like, oh my God, you're a good luck charm. Like, you need to have this scarf and pulls out this scarf and then was like, wrapped it around my neck. And I was like, did this just happen? I mean, because you know, she has a song about a scarf. Right. So yeah, it happened. And yeah. then it's crazy because I also work for Joya and we have a charm bar. So it was like the lucky charm. And right. Char and I have this, I always wear this to every game. So, nice. yeah, so it's crazy. I mean, it was just absolutely crazy. And your business was really what brought you to Casey. And tell yeah. us more about this for people so interested. Julia yeah. is a St. Louis-based company. Um, Betsy's not here today. She couldn't make it. But um, it's all designed here by Betsy. And then it's all, it's a female-owned and all of that stuff. I think you guys have done stuff on them before. Mm -hmm. But, yes, um, they have a charm bar that's gone viral. And you can make these charm necklaces and everything like that. So, I mean, I thought it was fitting for Taylor because she's always wearing the, you know, the friendship bracelets and things like that. But yeah, it was fun. We had a show and then we ended up going to the game right after. And who would have thought we would have gone viral? Who would have thought? I okay, mean, obviously cool. the next game's gonna be uh, with in Buffalo, so you're not gonna get a chance to I go back trying. there. Oh, you were trying, I was okay. Trying. If someone is interested in getting some of your jewelry, what do they need to do? Um, you can go to collectionsbyjoya.com and then we have our, in like it's all over our Instagram, all over my Instagram, collectionsbyjoya, everywhere. So yeah, I mean, have fun making the charm bracelets. All right, we, we have a little bit of Fox 2 swag for you. Not nearly as cool <laughs> as Taylor Swift's scarf, but it'll go with your collection. Oh my God, there you I go. love this. All right. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Nice to you. meet you, too. What, yes. what are you going to do with this? Uh, you know, I'm going to frame it. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I've had offers to sell it. Yeah. I've had, I don't know. It's been a crazy, who would have thought a scarf would cause so much? Well, also, did you see the picture of her reaching out of the yes. window? That Throw also it. seemed to be... Like, and she's, they, I, I saw a quote that said she was a leash baby, and that was absolutely me. There so, you go. What yes. a great experience. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing your story with us. Stick around. Much more ahead for you on Fox 2 News in the morning at 7.